So the two captains will line in behind the Artane boys band. Galway on the left-hand side, led by their centre-forward. Kerry by their full-back. Both of them great pals, as you will have heard, of course, because they attended the uh, Institute of Technology in Tralee, where they each won two Sigerson Cup medals. And now, Porrick Joyce has got into full form, where he's marked by Moynihan. And the match is underway. And it is Kerry who play from left to right. Dara O'Shea, booted in there by Hassett. Beautiful catch, Johnny Crowley straight in the action straight away. And that is a fantastic kick and a wonderful point. Kerry score after about 17 seconds. Johnny Crowley getting his first. Here comes Sean Old the player, likes to attack. So it'll be the duty of Eadon McGarren to tie him back there at left half back if at all possible. Forrick Joyce has come way out from his full forward position that he started in. That's in by Paul Clancy. Here's an opportunity. A goal! The opening goal of the match. Declan Meehan coming way up from defence. There was a goal in this in the seventh minute of the first half. What about the pass inside, which made it all possible? A brilliant run by the wing-back, and he belted it past O'Keefe. What a time to score in Croke Park. A lot of short passing. In the end, they go for the long punt in there by Noel Canelli. Into Mike Frank Russell. Awkward angle for it. He's got Richie Fahey there for company. Trying to get in along the end line. Mike Frank steadying himself. He's a marvellous footballer. He had to really work that one in. Now the target man in there will be Sean O'Donnell, perhaps. Joe Bergen, just 19 years of age. He now becomes the youngest player playing in this All-Ireland final. Here's Paulick Joyce. Takes a little tumble. Worked outside here towards Michael Donnellan. This is one of the band they really have to look to, and that is why. What a superb point by Michael Donnellan. Going down there is Dara Okineda. They keep it going here. Eamon Fitzmaurice trying to burst his way through. He succeeded. The man who was uh, picked at centre half back coming forward, kicking it. The umpires have a look at it, and they decide in the end that it did travel inside the left post. As they saw it, the right post as we're looking at it, and it's Kerry who are much the happier. Some holding in there. Savage is going in afterwards. So too is Mike McCarthy. Savage waiting for support. It comes in the figure of Joe Bergen. Dodging away from Donald Daly. That's a great kick. This is a great young talent. Good to see him get his chance. He was so disappointed to have been substituted in the opening match so early. That was the drawn game. This is the replay. And he's got a great point. That rush here so far has tried the impossible four or five times in this game. At times I feel he just doesn't take the percentage shot and play the simple ball. It's another point for Kerry. Dara Okineda has kicked three points. 35 minutes gone. We're into injury time. And Kerry lead in this match by two points. Galway with just four scores in the first half. But crucially, one of those was a goal. After seven minutes, it was their first score. Scored by the wing-back Declan Meehan. It's the only goal of the game so far. And uh, there's been some pretty good football. Some sloppy stuff as well. But it's a huge occasion for both players, both sets of players. Joe Bergen has come in for Kevin Walsh during that first half. He's only 19 years of age, matching the number on his back. And uh, at half-time here at Croke Park in the replay of the Bank of Ireland football final, it's Kerry eight points, Galway 1-3. Brian White then getting the match underway once again if you've come in late. Two points between the teams, it's Kerry who lead. They have the wind at their backs for the second half. It may have dropped a little bit in its intensity. As Galway try to get that ball away there with Tomas Meehan leaving that one behind. Out it comes towards Liam Hassett. And Hassett kicks it beautifully. Great start to the second half. Clancy having the unenviable job of trying to uh, beat Seamus Moynihan. He does well this time. The player has kept going forward. Edon McGarrett, his marker, trying to close down the space. It's Oh, yes, it's gone over the bar. Sean owed the player. That's about seven shots in a row now that have failed to yield a score in front of the Galway goal. 
that was very tamely hit. But they have it back, Mike Frank Russell gets it back to Darrow Kinnader, comes back once again, and the final shot this time is on target, and it's over the bar by Erdogan McGarrett. It's his second point. So they've had their difficulties with injuries, a lovely pick-up by Tommy Joyce. Now, first and forward, Kevin Walsh. Can he lift Galway spirits? They need a score. He can get it, and he does. Kevin Walsh. Galway hoping to win their own kick-outs, but Maurice Fitzgerald is hugely influential. He's got it again. He set up that point for Hassett. This time fancying his chances, and that one is swung over the bar. Morris Fitzgerald with his first point in the All-Ireland final replay. Johnny Crowley, Erdogan McGarrett, down for Mike Frank Russell, just two men up there. He goes for it himself. It's falling in and it's falling over the bar. It's that kind of day for Kerry. Galway, get it back here with Gary Fahey. Shea Walsh, that's a terrible ball to Kevin Walsh. And Kerry can just finish it off beautifully here. And it's put over the bar by Johnny Crowley from Glen Flesk. He scored his third point, and that is surely that. Kerry are surely this year's champions. It's all over. And that's confirmed as we watch this once again. Crowley scores. And the Sam Maguire Cup is won back by the Munster champions. Sean McKaig offering his congratulations. Handing over the Sam Maguire Cup. And Kerry are the champions. Seamus Moynihan, the very popular captain. And the Kerry fans are having a day of days here at Croke Park.